This is Twit. So we talked a little bit about why people might want to get into PC gaming, and we happen to have a pretty monster-looking uh, gaming rig here. It's, it's almost as tall as you. <laughs> almost, uh, but not quite as bulky as me. Well, actually, it's much much stronger than I am. Acer Predator. That uh, that eye roll. I want. Gift or gift, however you say it, I want that. <laughs> the Acer Predator Orion 5000. That's what we have right here. This is a beast, or at least it looks like a beast. It looks like it has a handle up at the top. Is this for like, like uh, traveling gamers going to competitions? Like, yeah, I've got my own rig. I'll tell you Drop right now, I'm not gonna. We can make fun of the size and heft and silliness, but a handle is always awesome. Now, I'm yeah. a guy who had a GameCube back in the day, and I'm the only person I know who really appreciated the handle on that. So don't ever knock a handle, and it's sturdy. I watched you carry that around yeah. earlier. No, it is very sturdy, and but, actually, yeah, it, it makes this thing surprisingly portable, even though it's so big. Although this uh, door is not currently screwed in, so he's really oh, yeah. playing with fire right now. Okay. Always screw this in before playing with the handle. Yeah, we, we wanted to make it a little easier so that we could pop this open. So let's pop that off. Because mm -hmm, we're going to reveal some of the things, but not all of them. Now, right. you notice the glass plate right here, that's an option. Sometimes you're going to want to show off the parts inside and the LED lighting. You know, if that's your bag, great. Get the, the grill like that. There are different yeah. designs that are sometimes GPU only, uh, otherwise. And you can always get the ones that don't do that. But this is specifically for that sort of, here's how much money I put into my PC appeal. I mean, but, it's, it's, it's been a long time since I've actually bought like a, a, a Windows PC. Like we're talking years. I've, I've had lots of Macs uh, since then. They're very. They're, a lot of them have a lot of splashy like lights and stuff. Like that's a big thing now, right? It's almost like pimp your, pimp, pimp your, your PC. Well, I mean, <laughs> and that's an option if you yeah. want to blow it up. If you want to have matching LED lights between your keyboard and mouse and internals of a computer, you can get software for that that totally. matches those all up. Yeah. Which I'm not gonna lie. I don't need that stuff, but I get a little uh, entranced and intrigued when I see that sort of thing. Sure. But what's more important with this guy, let's talk about the parts. Over here is this giant Cooler Master Cooler that is on top of the i7-8700K processor. That's from Intel, that clocks at a stock 3.7 gigahertz, but goes way higher in terms of boost mode and can overclock pretty easily. Not as much as like the, uh, some of the other K series ones, but the K ones are unlocked. That K on an Intel processor tells you that you have an easier time just going in and overclocking. This one, I think with that cooling, we haven't tested it out yet, but my guess is five gigahertz is pretty doable. Uh, I, but again, you, we'll, we'll get into more of that in a little while. Is there any reason that you might need to remove this? if you want to make it twice as huge. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if you want to go in and change out the processor and things like okay. that, that's an option. And but you won't need to be, do that for any time soon. Well, so. I mean, you would hope, well, don't, don't speak too soon when it comes to this sort of stuff. <laughs> so we go from here, we're going to head over to the RAM, and we've got a total of four slots. Two of them are used. Uh, I'm looking up at our specs. We're at uh, 16 gigs of DDR4, uh, and we can get that all the way up to 64 gigs uh, if we essentially have four 16 gig uh, slots for each of those DIMMs. Uh, and then down here, we have that graphics card, that GPU. This one is a pretty solid 2017 model. That is an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080. That's gonna give you up to eight gigs of dedicated GDDR, GDDR5 memory, I believe. Don't quote me on that. Uh, now down here, beneath this crazy block, we have a power supply of 730 watts. That is I would say that's overkill for this combination of parts in terms of essentially it's the CPU and GPU that are going to be primarily the biggest money or uh, power. Why well, right. money? Power is money. Money is power. Uh, <laughs> but that's going to be the most demanding stuff. I want to say 650 watts is sort of your uh, go-to amount if you are building your own machine. Uh, and then otherwise, the motherboard has all the stuff built in. Now you'd have to come all the way over to my side to see the back of the motherboard. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if I can do that. Yeah. Uh, and then it. we've got, because in the motherboard here, we've got every a lot of different audio outs. You've got a dedicated microphone out there. Uh, you've got built-in Ethernet. You've got older USB 2.0. You've got four USB 3.0, more USB 2.0. If we go down again, we're oh, going to yeah, come back go. down to the GPU. And this is, uh, you've got one, two, three, 
uh, DVI, we've got one HDMI. We why, got, why would you need so many video outs? Well, let's say you want to have multiple monitors. Let's say you want to have a virtual reality headset. You're going to want to oh, have... Oh, VR, that's yeah. a big consideration. This Correct. machine's probably very well set up for that. Correct. And some monitors require multiple uh, ports just to drive one monitor. Right. And then down here, yeah, that's where the power supply plugs in. That's simple as that. Uh, okay. But even when you go all the way to the top of the machine, I love doing this tapping. I hope that's not ruining it, uh, the sound guy's <laughs> job. But you also get a, a few USB ports, including USB 3.0, that little bit of... Uh, That's extra nice. future proofing there yep. uh, on top of yet another slightly more convenient uh, headset out and microphone out. Sometimes that uh, headset out will drive everything, your uh, ears and your microphone, so you, you don't need to use both of those ports, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, so essentially, there are a bunch of different things that can be built in, and this machine clearly is going kind of overkill with this crazy enclosure for the power supply, probably to bundle in a bunch of cables. Uh, there's some pretty good cord management here. You're not seeing a bunch of cords dangling around. We have our, what I believe is a DVD drive. Uh, I don't think it's a DVD writer or anything like that. Um, yeah, and I'm looking to see where yeah, the heck the hard open. drives are, because that's one thing that's kind of important. They may be down in there. Uh, you know, hard drives certainly aren't an uh, unimportant element on a computer like yeah, this. Yeah, I think this is a 512 gig solid state. Yep. So it's probably so that's pretty, pretty low profile. Solid, but you know, I'm not seeing, maybe I'm blind, I'm not yeah, seeing any M2 seeing drives. Mm -hmm. You know, M2 drives are a standard, if you want lightning fast loads of your OS of choice, uh, those M2 drives get you into some crazy high speeds for that. Uh, but otherwise, you, you, there's not, when we're describing what's going on here, there's not a lot of stuff ultimately, meaning if you want to build your own instead of going prefab, you know, motherboard, hard drives, RAM, CPU, GPU, uh, external media, um, you know, you're, you're not having to connect a whole bunch of things. Even though this looks pretty intense and complex and probably has a bunch of LED lighting when we plug it in, yeah, it's it really, definitely does. there's ultimately a basic set of pieces that you need that you can get pretty cheap. In fact, you can even get now CPU, GPU combos, system on chip. Uh, you're not going to get highest level gaming performance, but it's a way to sort of start before you decide, well, I'm going to get a GPU later, but for now, I just want to play League of Legends and Counter-Strike and simpler PC games and run them at perfectly reasonable levels at 1080p resolution. So, so when we were looking in here earlier, you mentioned something uh, to me, I think this was before the show, about getting a second GPU, like there being room for a second GPU. And this, like, this, why board, would you do that? this board absolutely has room so you can go SLI meaning that you would connect two GPUs together, that that second one would plug in here, and right here you can see this little exposed part. Yeah. On the first GPU, you would get a bridge uh, that specifically com connects them together. Now, this is not as good as having one really good GPU all in all, but it might be more cost effective to get you to bump up in performance. I'm not hmm. saying that SLI is something that you should plan on because there are games that just don't support the kind of boosts that you get out of having two GPUs, but some games do. So if you, for any reason, a luck on to another card of pretty much the exact same type and want to plug it in, you'll get some sort of boost. So you can look into that as you go down the line. Don't plan on it, but it's nice to have that as an option if you're already going for a giant tower like this. When it comes to upgrading a, a, a PC, you know, you, you've had it for a little while, like, what, what is the best bang for buck upgrade, would you say? Is it memory? Is it upgrading the GPU? What do you think? I think the GPU is going to be the way you want to go when you're upgrading your PC, uh, depending on what you're already starting with. But that's going to drive general performance, uh, especially if you decide that you want to hook your uh, computer up to a 4K display. Uh, uh, okay. Generally, games that are CPU bound uh, are going up to crazy high frame rates. Now, 60 frames a second is sort of that golden standard, especially in the console generation. Most TVs max out at 60 frames a second in terms of that 60 hertz refresh. But there are computers that, uh, computer displays that go up to 120 hertz, 144 hertz, 165 hertz, even more. So when you're getting into that territory, it is a matter of, well, what's weakest? A CPU can hold that sort of threshold back, a GPU can hold that sort of threshold back, but if you're just using a standard television, the GPU is probably going to be the thing that you want to boost up, but you'll get boosts out of getting better and faster RAM. You might want to okay. overclock your RAM depending on how your system is set up. Um, 
it's sometimes overclocking is all you need to do just to get a little more juice out of your CPU or GPU. So there's no really flat answer to exactly which thing you should get to soup up your PC, but GPU tends to be the easiest example, especially if a bunch of crypto miners have bought up all the GPUs you wanted, so you have right. to get a lesser one to start <laughs> because you're not a Bitcoin farmer. So Dang, you, crypto miners. Exactly, so there's that's that is sort of consideration. So again, it's not a flat, just get this and it's all gonna be magically better. You wanna right. kinda look around at what's the lowest uh, link in the chain, but for the most part, like you're not gonna need to get another CPU for a while is very likely if you're not moving into crazy monitor territory and things like that. Awesome, so this is the, uh, again, the Acer Predator Orion 5000. This starts, I think, at 2099. So, and I, I don't know, as far as price for a, a gaming rig, is that Thank pretty you, standard? Thank you, Acer, for providing this. I think that you can get similar power for cheaper if you build it yourself. And I think that oh, you have I'm options sure. when looking around at uh, popular internet retailers for PC parts and PC systems to find prefab machines that are cheaper. You know, you're gonna wanna look for uh, certain gigahertz for your uh, CPU and certain memory and speed for your GPU and at least 16 gigs of RAM uh, and kind of go from there. And you know, your dream machine may be certainly less than 2,000.